Y'all, I got a good one for you today. This is on a channel called Real Families, and it's overprotective mom doesn't let her 10-year-old eat by himself, and it's on Real Families. Now, this mother is very overprotective of her 10-year-old son. Um, her husband has a daughter, I think he's six or seven, and he's more laid back. Now, they've been married for four years, and her husband does not like the fact that she babies her little boy so much. Now, the woman who has come in to help this family is the woman who was called the world's worst mom because she would allow her eight, nine-year-old son to ride the subway by himself. Now, in some areas that could be safe and it might have worked for him, but like where I used to live, nobody's kid could ride the subway by themselves. It was a very dangerous place, lots of crime, but most of all, it was full of predators. There were more child kidnappings and minor kidnappings that went on at that place that I'd ever seen. I mean, it was shocking. So I definitely would think twice before sending any child out to ride a subway by themselves without supervision. Well, where I stayed before, your kids couldn't even walk to school by themselves. There was two girls kidnapped within a week's span, and they never found out who kidnapped them. Eric, Eric is more relaxed, relaxed where, where I am more strict. Uh, she's very protective of Sam. Uh, she's, she's not as protective as Isabel. I consider him to be a very... The one thing I don't like about this already that I've seen is they have... She brought in her 10-year-old son into the marriage. Um, they've been married for four years. So she has a son. He has a daughter. This, They have formed this thing where they don't take care of the other one's child. They focus on their own child. When you blend a family, that person's children should become your children, vice versa. <clears throat> I think it's really crappy to show one child more attention, affection than another, just because they're not your biological child. And that does affect children in the long run. It does. I know all about it. It's called showing favoritism. And I promise you, if these two people stay together years down the road, her stepdaughter will resent her for pushing her away so much and for and her son her son will resent her for being so smothering all the time you have to find a middle ground you can't be too controlling or just let them do whatever they want all the time the emotional little human being who needs constant care and attention there's nothing wrong with loving your child nothing wrong with loving your kid but there is something wrong with smothering your child and treating them like they're up on a pedestal above everyone else. You want to teach your kids how to be independent. You want to teach them how to grow strong, learn how to do things. They can't learn how to do things if you always do everything for them. You know what I'm saying? You have to learn how to teach them how to do things and you got to let them learn. Yes, they're going to fall down. Yes, things are going to happen. But that's the only way they can learn, you know? This is why Polina is too overprotective of son Sam and wants her to let him grow up. Sam is not confident because it's just too much stress to deal with mom. He'll be eating something and mom will be like, let me get a mess, let me do it for you. She'll actually shove food in his mouth. Wow. I usually do everything for him. I cut up all his meat for him still. I don't need it. I'm not going to choose on it. Why it's too huge. I don't, I don't like, like it when she feeds me. I don't like He's clearly telling her, I don't like when you do this to me. Not only is it embarrassing, but I can do it myself. She really is just crossing so many lines with this child. It's sad, you know, really sad. I don't, don't like, like him to play, play in the, in the rain, rain because, because his feet get wet. wet. Sam, Sam, don't, don't do, do that. that. I want to oh, have him fun. I, I give, give Sammy a bath, bath still. still. Sam, come, come take. She didn't say, I run his water and then walk away. She said, I give him a bath still. That's, he's almost 11. That's a little um, invasive. Uh, you're taking his complete privacy away. You, When they're little, especially with little boys, you do have to show them how to properly clean themselves. Little girls too. You have to show any child how to clean themselves. But there is a point at a certain age where you have to teach them how to use the bathtub and do it themselves. 
for a child who's almost 11, he should be washing his own butt. And I'm sure he wants to, Mom. I'm sure he doesn't want you in there standing over him. And he won't when he's 14 and 15 years old either. I'll take, take your bath, bath, buddy. She's, she's concerned that he's not cleaning any nails, nails properly. That kind of thing. So she actually do it, does it for him. I just want to do things by myself. Oh. The worst part is he's 10. There's no reason why he should, why he should be treated like he's a six-year-old. All these problems are causing tension. And what's crazy is his six-year-old daughter does all of these things on her own. So this mom knows that her son can do these things, but she chooses to smother him anyways. Parents, let me tell you something. When you purposely smother a child and be a helicopter parent, and you control every aspect of their life and you shelter them like this, you're creating a monster. And one day when this boy is three times the size of you and they have a bad temper and a bad anger problem because you have created this, you have to deal with it. And sometimes it doesn't turn out pretty. You don't, you don't want to do that. You want to teach them how to be independent. Give them some leash to go on. You know, give them some leadway to go learn how to do things. You can't keep them right here all the time. And, well, this one time he had bronchitis and got sick. You can't do that. This boy wants to learn how to do things on his own. And I think he does learn how in this video. Reached crisis point because Eric wants Sammy to gain confidence and spread his wings. There's days when I That's what gets me. She's so smothering and protective, right? But allows him to sit and play video games all day. That doesn't make any sense. You, you contradict yourself. I mean, let him go outside and play, you know, in the dirt. Let him play with Barbie dolls. Let him play with, uh, you know, whatever. But you can't sit here and tell me, well, I got to smother him 24-7 by putting him in front of a video game all day. I mean, and I'm not bashing video games. I'm just saying, you know, it just don't make no sense. You're, you're, she just doesn't make any sense to me. When, when I, I get upset, upset at Eric, Eric when he tries to parent Sam, Sam we don't agree, agree so, so whatever. But you two should be working together to raise these two children together. But she told him, as soon as they got married, she told him, no, you raise your daughter, I raise my son. <clears throat> and that is so shitty. You should be that little girl stepmother, and he should be that little boy stepfather, and y'all should be a family, a whole family. There should be no, oh, that's yours and this is mine. You're married. You're living together. It should be ours, our family. I hope, I hope this lady gets therapy because she clearly, clearly needs it. Something has happened to her at some point in time that she has made her this way. And her little attitude, that's another thing. That, though, these people who have these shitty attitudes like that right there, walk away and trying to start an argument with someone who's trying to talk to you and trying to help you. Her husband's trying to help her understand you are hurting this kid in the long run. He's not going to be able to wipe his own butt once he gets to high school. And what's going to happen? He's going to rebel against you because you have controlled every part of his life. I'm 10 years old. She thinks that I'm a little kid. Not. Over the next week, Lenore will work with the family, teaching them the skills they need to give Sammy back his childhood. But first, she needs to hear how it got to this. Okay, so Paulina, you brought Sammy into the relation. Is when she'll believe it. Talking to the kids will allow Lenore to discover what's really going on. <laughs> so Sammy, um, what aren't you allowed to do? I can't ride a bike. My mom doesn't want me to fall and hurt myself. Are you serious? I have to walk. Do you want That's so sad. He has to walk beside the other girl while she gets to ride a bike. That's really sad. Guys, I have to cut the video off here because my timer's running out, so I'll be right back with the next clip. See, I'm already at 10 minutes. Thanks for watching.